Tonight we are learning more about Saturday's shooting in Junietta County and the troopers who were shot. The incident left one trooper dead and another fighting for his life. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amy Lutz. Fox 43's Logan Perrone tells us about the two men shot and how the tragic events unfolded. One day after an attack on Pennsylvania State Police, flags fly at half staff for a fallen state trooper. Jacques Rougeau Jr. shot and killed in the line of duty. Rougeau on the job for less than three years. Another trooper, Lieutenant James Wagner, was also shot in the incident. Lieutenant Wagner, a dad to three sons, spending Father's Day fighting for his life at Hershey Medical Center. Our hearts and prayers are with these brave troopers and their families. The tragic events played out over multiple hours in Juniata County yesterday. It all started at 11 a.m. when Thompson Town resident Brandon Stein arrived at the Troop G Barracks in Fermanagh Township, Juniata County. Mr. Stein got out of his vehicle and fired several rounds from a long rifle into marked patrol cars. Stein fled kicking off a massive search. At 12.45 p.m., troopers found and exchanged gunfire with Stein along Washington Avenue in Mifflintown, where Lieutenant Wagner was shot. Troopers, citizens, EMTs, and other first responders arrived at the scene, and they attempted and successfully provided life-saving first aid to Lieutenant Wagner. He was taken to Lewistown Hospital before being flown to Hershey Medical Center. The search continued for Stein, who was in contact with police. He was playing somewhat of a game of cat and mouse with them. There were phone calls, there were attempts to, uh, uh, to try and negotiate with him, but there were phone calls from him providing a location and then he wouldn't be there. Around 2.30 p.m., Trooper Rajo was shot. One of our troopers traveling uh, down Baumgartner Drive towards Swamp Road, unfortunately was ambushed by Mr. Stein from the area of Swamp Road with a gunshot that struck Trooper Rajo through the windshield of his patrol car, killing him. Police soon pinned Stein in nearby Walker Township. What I witnessed was one of the most intense, unbelievable gunfights I have ever witnessed. This video from a person nearby <laughs> capturing the echo of rounds. Stein died of his injuries. Police say they were not aware of any threats made to the PSP Lewistown barracks prior to the incident which left Commissioner Colonel Parrish with few words. The two words that stick out to me are, are tragedy and harrowing. It was a tragic and harrowing day. Two words, two troopers, one lost. Lieutenant Wagner is currently listed in critical condition here at Milton Hershey Medical Center. Meanwhile, police say they do not know what the motive was behind the shooting and that the investigation is still ongoing. In Derry Township, Dauphin County, Logan Perrone, Fox 43 News.